Now then, for my next project, I thought it'd be really fun to do some life-size purity seals. But don't worry, we're not going to use these bad boys. We're going to do this in a way that anyone can do it. It's completely accessible and it's not going to break the bank. So the first thing you've got to do is pick a symbol or logo to put on your seal. Now, for your first one, I would recommend using something with lots of straight lines and narrow areas in it, just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. It's a good idea to put a circle around your symbol or logo, just to help you keep the stamp round. Next, set it to the sort of size that you want it to be. Be that for a battle sister, an imperial guard, or a space marine. I feel like a diameter of about four centimeters or one and a half inches is about right for a space marine. Now all that's left to do is just hit print. Get yourself some baking paper and a pencil, lay it over the print off and get the tracing. Tracing done, next you need to get yourself a piece of rubber, like this one, which cost me a whopping £6 off Amazon, and will probably do about six Space Marine size stamps. Pop the greaseproof paper face down over the rubber and get polishing. With that done, all that's left to do is grab your craft knife and start carving into the rubber at an angle to create your stamp.
Stamp done, and now all we need to do is work on the purity. Just in time for a brew. Pop the kettle on, couple of tea bags, and let it stew. While that's fermenting, grab a piece of paper, pop it on a tray just so you don't make a mess. With your brew stewed, it's time to give your paper a good tea bagging. Next you want to either pop it on a windowsill to dry or grab your hair dryer and give it a good blow. With your paper sorted next you want to grab yourself, your laptop, your PC, your tablet, whatever it may be and get word open. Make yourself some text boxes that are roughly the same width as your stamp and then you want to either paste or type in whatever quotes you like the look of, add any symbols that you want and then you change your fonts, tweak the sizes of the fonts and off you go, you're ready to hit print. I got this pack which comes with absolutely everything that you need the wax, a pouring spoon and some candles for heating the wax, all for the princely cost of about £6 off Amazon. I've popped a link in the description if you'd like to get one for yourself, and while you're down there, if you're enjoying the video, please hit the like button. First, cut your paper down to size, and then lay down some greaseproof paper and pop your parchment on top. Next, get your candle, light it, and load your spoon with your wax pellets. Hold it over the flame to start melting the wax. I found if you want to try and make a Space Marine size seal, that you want to try and brim the spoon with the wax when it's melted. So don't be afraid of piling the wax over the rim. Give it a minute and a stir with a cocktail stick and you should be ready to go. You need to be quick now. Pour the molten wax over the top of the paper slip and don't worry about spilling any onto the greaseproof paper. With that done, carefully press your stamp into the molten wax. This is really important, don't pull your stamp away until the wax has completely cooled down. If you do pull it away too quickly, the wax is going to cling onto the stamp and it will probably end up ripping that stamp that you've spent all that time making. While you wait for your stamp to cool down, feel free to put your candle out. Don't forget to dip the wick to extend its life. Now the wax has cooled down fully, we can gently remove that stamp and hey presto you've got yourself a purity seal I'd love to 
see what you have made, so tag me on Instagram with the PRD seals that you've come up with. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Ta-ra!